So guys, I'm going to show you how you can make it look like you're a crazy government or I don't know, spy hacker or something like that. So this is just a disclaimer, guys. This is all not real. This is just fake. This is just to show you how it's going to look like if you do it like to your friends. And you can like set a timer that is something is going to go off or something like that. It's a pretty cool thing. So I'm going to show you some tips how you can get this, for example, going. So let me show you something like this. You can get like some stuff on here. This one is actually fake and this one is actually real. This is not hacking or something like that, but this is just command. And this is just a fake thing that I just ran from the Internet. I'm going to show you how to do it all. So first off, guys, I'm going to close off my timer. Here we go. So what you can do to get something like this, or if you want something like green popping out, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me stop this. Okay, it's now stopped. So what you want to do to get something like this all the way running on your commands, let me click on F11 so we can make it a bit smaller. What you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to type in D I R and then slash S. Once you do that, it will just run like this. So this is not dangerous. This is more your files and stuff like that. That is scanning how many are like D R D I R or something like that. So it's not something dangerous that you do. On this one, this is actually something that I found in the internet. I knew this a pretty while. So what I just type in is hacker prank. And on here, you can get this one, for example. I'm not sponsored anyway, but you can also get something else on here. So that's pretty cool. If I click on this one, it's gonna look like this. And how do you get this away? What you wanna type in is F11. So click on here and then F11, it's gonna look like this. You can also do that on here. F11, first off click and then do F11, like you see. But how do we get a color like this? That's quite cool. So what you want to do is you want to type in color two. But like you see, now it will basically change to green. But if you want more customizations, what you can do is color ATTR. Now it will say which type of color is which. Oh. Okay, that was just a alarm that came out. So what you can basically do is you can just go ahead and type in color. Let me see on here. Color, let's just say that we want a black background. Or now, let's just say that you want a white background. So we're going to type in color F. And then I'm going to type in which uh, letter type that I want. So then when you want to type in the letter. So let's just say that you want a letter type. I'm not going to take way too long. I'm just a bit choosy. So let's just do a white background with a aqua letter type. It's going to look like this. And if you want this to be permanent, guys, I'm also going to show you that. So click on F11 back again. And you want to click right click on here on command prompt on this bar over here. You want to go over to properties and on here you can actually change your screen text and a lot more. You can even change the letter type and how big it is. You can change font, make it bold and a lot more. Like you have so many settings and this will stay permanent. So if I close this off, I have it changed to the green color. So. Let me type in CMD. It's going to look like this. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, these are some extra tips that I want to share to you guys. Maybe quite useful for you. And how to look like a crazy hacker. So, let me open another CMD. And I'm going to change this to color 3. So, this is blue. And I'm going to open another one. I'm going to do this one color which was one I don't remember let me see 
So we want to get, I want to get red. So I'm going to do color. I'm just typing with one hand, by the way, it's a bit difficult. I hate it. So let's do four, not 41, four, like this. Let's get this out. And this is also pretty cool, this over here. You, you can type literally anything, it will look like this. Do you see that? It will like give you some warnings and stuff like that. You can also open something like this and just type like this. Or wait, let me do something like this. Do you see that? I'm not even typing that. It's just automatic, quite cool. So let me get this on here. And that on here. So I'm gonna type in, was it bear? Did I just forget it? I typed it here. Oh, it was der. Okay. Der slash s. I'm gonna first off copy this. Here we go, control C. I'm also gonna get this on here. Also here. And now let's just click on F11, enter, F11, enter, F11, enter. And now I'm gonna show you how it looks like. And then on here you can like set a timer, like something's gonna go off or something like that. You can just get it on YouTube. It's quite easy to like a red timer and it will just pop out. And this one looks so cool. And you can also open like some hacker music on the background. And say like, for example, that you're um, scanning for uh, the people's passwords of this Wi-Fi connection or something like that. And maybe it's believable. It depends on how much people trust you. <laughs> they might have some trust issues later on, but those are just the, what's it called? I actually forgot what it's called. The side effects of maybe doing this. And yeah, to close it off, just F11, close. And don't worry, this won't do anything like harming your computer, it won't do that. This is just safe, this doesn't hurt people and oh my OBS is open all right let's close this one off and yeah that's it so I hope you enjoyed it you can also just do that to one screen I just did it to three screens just to show you but thank you for watching take care please like subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have a problem take care